Hello again, I'm Blunty, and I'll be staying off camera today because I'm sick and I look like three kinds of horse crap. iPad app review time, and we'll be taking a look at an animated children's storybook app, something I wouldn't normally review or even own because 99% of children annoy me so much I want to run for parliament just so I can introduce a law that makes it legal to taser misbehaving children right in their chubby faces. But I digress. Larry the Lizard is an app by Wasabi Productions. It's a children's storybook, and the reason this is a standalone application rather than on display on the digital shelves of one of the ebook stores available through the iPad is mainly because kids, like most YouTube viewers, have a tiny, tiny attention span, and the more you can do to try and maintain a remote semblance of concentration and focus, the better off everybody is. <laughs> And so, as you may already be hearing, this new breed of kids' book is enhanced with both sound and animation. There's appropriate atmospheric sounds, in this case of the Aussie bush. And if you're lazy, or perhaps a barely literate parent hoping your child's reading skills will exceed yours by age 5, then you can also have the app read along for you, in a soothing, but a little too carefully enunciated for my tastes, girl's voice. Larry the Lizard lay in the sun. He was so still, a mosquito mistook him for a piece of wood. There's also a level of interactivity beyond the finger swipe to trigger the gratuitous animated page turn in that each of the, I will admit, very awesome digital paintings that accompany the story can be poked to trigger an animation of the book's star, Larry, the Lizard. The story itself is, I guess, pretty standard fare for kids' books. It's been a while since I've really read many of them, with an obtuse message about poking lizards or something. But fact is, if you have a small human prototype, they're probably going to love the crap out of this book, because it's quite well put together, and even a dumb child, or perhaps even an American, could figure out how to use this all on their own. It's all very intuitive and easy. And so they'll be leaving their grotty, greasy finger smudges all over your iPad as they read and reread and reread this book over and over and over and over and over again because children know that repetition like that bugs the hell out of their parents, which is the primary mission of being human. I'm Blunty, thanks for watching, and don't poke lizards. They bloody hate that. I learned it from a book. Close your eyes and count to ten. It's time to poke Larry again.